listening to Real Estate Insiders Radio, featuring successful real estate insiders, influencers, and trendsetters, sharing proven tips and strategies to help you navigate the complex world of real estate right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Felicia Phillips-Curtis. Today's show is sponsored by Prospertor.com, your go-to partner for real estate investment solutions. Connect at Prospertor.com today, and you too will prosper when you buy or sell your investment property. Prospertor.com, where real estate solutions produce cash, clarity, and calm. Call 805-SOUTH-1. It is your time to prosper. Today is an exciting show for you. Uh, I have been uh, getting, trying to get in touch with today's guest for quite some time. We have had the most challenging time catching up with each other. And it is truly an honor to finally be sitting down today with Matt Skinner. Matt Skinner. Who is Matt Skinner? You, some of you may know Matt. For those of you who don't, who don't, he is the founder of Empire West. It is a boutique private equity firm that specializes in cash flowing apartment buildings. Matt is here today to talk with us about how he helps busy professionals, like most of us, invest passively in value added apartment buildings where they can enjoy cash flow, tax benefits, and growth without having to worry about any of those hassles and headaches of tenants, toilets, or the troubles of landlording, which a lot of us try to avoid. His website is realpeoplerealreturns.com. He teaches entrepreneurs how to buy, flip, finance, and operate apartment buildings successfully as well. Matt is one who will teach you uh, so that you can learn about this at dealmakersociety.com. Matt, believe it or not, started his real estate career in the trenches, and I mean literally, digging ditches for a construction company. Matt was growing up in a family of contractors. He started his construction company himself at the age of 22. He quickly grew that to be doing $10 million a year with over 50 employees. Meanwhile, he began investing in real estate, flipping junker houses and buying rental properties like some of us are still doing. And today he's graduated to developing property and owning and operating apartment buildings. He now owns Empire West. It is one of the fastest growing private equity firms that specializes in real estate. Matt owns a real estate brokerage and he still manages his development company's construction projects in house. Welcome to the show. What a mouthful, Matt. I know. Thanks, Lisa. It sounds like uh, it makes me tired just hearing all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing a lot. Man, oh, high man, five I'm to having you. so much fun. This yeah, business you know, is so much fun. <laughs> now I understand why it's been so difficult for us to connect, other than time zones and all of that as well. But, man, you <laughs> are truly, truly out there making it happen. Again, welcome to today's show. I want to hear a lot more, and it is just an honor to introduce to the uh, listeners out there someone who is doing apartment buildings. I think you are, in fact, you are my first guest. Uh, to talk about that type of investing. Uh, most have been discussing uh, residential. In fact, I don't think anyone's talked about, yeah, some commercial perhaps with land. I did speak with someone about land uh, purchases, but this is mm-hmm. a unique niche, and I'd like to hear more uh, about what you're doing. Tell me, who is your perfect prospect uh, for your business? Well, thank you very much. That was a, uh, a great question, actually. So, um, I mean, I'll talk a little bit about the apartments uh, business in, in general, and um, yeah. and then uh, we'll get to the prospect in, in a minute. Is that okay? Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> um, thank you. I started out just like you said um, in construction, and I started uh, buying and fixing and flipping houses, which is a lot of work and a lot of risk. And um, I, during the uh, the height of the foreclosure market, you know, 2008, 2009, um, I started realizing that, you know, I should be holding onto these these uh, properties that I'm buying in foreclosure, buying at the auction, buying a short sale. I should I should fix these things up and rent them out and keep them. And so I started using this uh, a model 
to try to design a business plan that said, what if I bought and kept a hundred houses? And the more I worked on that business plan, the more I realized how much work it was going to be to own that many houses and manage all those uh, tax payments and all of those insurance payments and having a hundred different locations to send property managers to and collect checks from. Yeah. And, yeah. and I had a friend of mine say, Matt, why don't you just buy one building with a hundred units? And I said, Oh my gosh. And it was like a light bulb went off, you know? <laughs> um, I said, Oh, that'll, that'll make my job so much easier. So I scrapped that business plan. <laughs> Thank God I didn't start implementing it, uh, implementing it yet. And um, I got a, a small group of investors together. We, we put together a down payment and uh, bought a 144-unit building in Texas. And so 2009, Texas is the only state that's showing any kind of promise of, of having some kind of recovery because the rest of the country is just totally falling apart. Uh, from oh, yeah, I remember standpoint. that. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was incredible. Mm. And um, so I... Bought, bought our first building, and uh, the, beautiful, the beautiful thing about owning apartment buildings is that, you know, in this particular case, we had a full-time staff, we had a full-time leasing person, a full-time property manager. She shows up in the morning, works eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, professional. Two full-time maintenance guys whose sole responsibility in life is to make sure that the property is in good condition, fixed up, clean, looking good. And I mean, imagine having rental houses where you just had a guy walking around touching up paint and, and fixing the garden and making sure the you know plants were watered. And that's what it's like owning an a, a, a apartment complex. And so wow. I just realized the economies of scale were so much greater owning a building like this and so much easier to manage and so much uh, less risk. Because when you have over 100 units, you've got a, over 100 streams of income. And everybody knows it's all about multiple streams of income is how you create long-term wealth. And, uh, and that's exactly what apartment uh, investing does for, for me and for others who, who do it with me. Wow. Wow. Wonderful. Um, now, if you are doing that uh, with these apartment buildings, again, going back to that initial question about prospects, who, who are you working with, Matt? Sure. Well, here's how this works. I go out and find, I have an amazing team of acquisitions managers who I've tr personally trained, coached, and mentored to find us the perfect properties. We only buy off-market deals, so we go direct to seller with our marketing systems. We try to buy, buy from people who are, who are motivated to sell, who need to sell, not just want to sell, or who are thinking about selling. We want to go after right. people uh, and, and buy from people that are almost you know, in a situation where they have to sell. We get better right. deals that way. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we, we, put, we put the deal together. We do all the due diligence. Um, I get the bank financing, usually Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae uh, financing, good uh, government-insured bank financing. Um, and then I'll, when I know that the project is a good project and we're going to completely green light it, I'll invite a group of my investors to invest with me in these apartment complexes. And, um, and so these folks are people that love to have cash flow, love to be part of something uh, bigger than maybe a single family house, excited about using those economies of scale to leverage their returns. Um, and so somebody who's got a little cash on the sidelines, somebody who maybe just sold a property and wants mm -hmm. to exchange it into something new, or somebody mm -hmm. who maybe has got some uh, IRA or 401k money, uh, we're always mm -hmm. looking for quality people to invest with us on deals like this. And we have a uh, $50,000 minimum investment. There's some mm -hmm. qualifying uh, questions that we'll have to go through to make sure that, uh, that a prospective a partner or investor is, is not only qualified to invest with us, but makes a good fit. We always want to make sure we're doing business with people that we like, care, and trust. And, right. um, and then uh, we all, everybody shares on the benefits. And with apartments, you get cash flow, tons of tax benefits, and, uh, and a lot of growth as well. Wait a minute. We need to back up, Matt. Let's back up here. Now, how do you go from a 22-year-old, 22-year-old, owning a mm -hmm. construction company to, as I was mentioning earlier, um, you quickly grew to be doing $10 million a year 
with over 50 employees, and you just mentioned yourself, you know, the acquisition managers, the maintenance guys, the full-time admin. How does this happen? Do you love real <laughs> well, estate? I mean, what? how does this happen? <laughs> no, I love it. That's a, that's one of my favorite questions, actually. Um, I started uh, I started my construction company early, 22, and I started um, – I actually wanted to get into real estate and I really didn't know how. And so what I did was I invested in myself and went to a uh, seminar. In fact, I had to put two credit cards together to afford to go to this $5,000 program. And my mom and dad and my girlfriend at the time and people are telling me, Matt, what are you doing? How can you afford a $5,000 seminar? You you probably got scammed. You're not going to get anything out of it. And I said, oh, man, but I want to learn. I want to know. I need to, I need to know. I need to know how to do this because I don't yes. want to be just a construction get- worker my, the rest of my life. Yeah. So I put, I put two credit cards together, and I went to this four-day uh, boot camp, they called it. And I went there, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know what an escrow was. I didn't know what a purchase agreement was. I didn't know anything about real estate. And I walked out of there with just enough information to not know what I didn't know. <laughs> In other words, I was naive enough. I was naive enough at that age to just, okay, I'm just going to do what he told me to do. I'm not going to try to fix anything or change anything. I'm not going to try and make it better. I'm just going to follow the, the steps he told me to, to take. And I did that. And four weeks later, I flipped my first house. I got a, a, a property. I sent out my mailers. A woman calls me up and she says, Matt, I'm so glad you reached out to me. Um, the house that you're that I have for you is not at where you sent me this mailer, but in a different town. And she says, is that okay? I said, yeah, that's okay. And she says, you know, I, I bought this house. I rented it to my kids. They trashed it. They never paid me rent. They took advantage of me. And she's almost about to start crying. She says, and now I'm Aww. facing foreclosure. I just need somebody to take over. And I just, if you'll buy my house, I'd be so appreciative of that. And I said, I drove out there and I met with her and the house was destroyed. I could not believe her children had done this to her, but it was horrible. And um, oh. she gave she gave me the house subject to that. Day. So I, I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to make sure it doesn't go into foreclosure. If you deed me the right. house, I right. will take the, make the payments going forward and I'll make sure that we take care of this. Right. It took me two weeks to wholesale that deal. Mm-hmm. And my very first deal, I made $13,000, which was Beautiful. a good return on investment. <laughs> for that good, re- good return on that five yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and that that five still pays off to this day but Dang. more than anything else i realized that this stuff works and if you just do work the system the system works yeah and uh, i was so excited and i was uh and i was just i fell, I fell in love with real estate so this is this can't be you know how many hours digging ditches or swinging a hammer it would take to make thirteen thousand dollars it was uh, incredible. probably about a year I, yeah, in most cases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was, I was absolutely hooked, and um, I flipped a lot of houses in the next couple of years, uh, doing wholesaling, and I'd buy and mm-hmm. flip, and um, mm-hmm. you know, it was, uh, it was a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do mm-hmm. that business, that's for sure. Right, right. So you're not doing that anymore now. You are completely focused on apartment building. That's correct. Um, and I, I got into, I really got into development in the mid 2000s, and the market was going hot, and I was a, uh, already a builder, and um, I had some clients that I had built some amazing houses for um, in the wow. Hollywood Hills, in Beverly Hills, Malibu. I had some really great clients, and I have pictures of some of those houses on our website um, that you can check out. EmpireWestInvestments.com uh, has all has pictures of all those projects. Okay. And then I asked those folks that I had built those houses for, I said, hey, why don't you guys invest with me? I'm going to go, um, I'm gonna go buy this lot and I'm going to build this spec house and we're going to sell it. And we're going to make all this profit. And I was fortunate enough to have done such a good job for these people as my clients that they invested with me. Um, and we, we did some, we started doing some development projects. And uh, so that's how that whole started, that whole thing started. And uh you know, it was just a, it's just a lot of fun. I think the takeaway more than anything else is learning or what I had to learn how to do, perhaps, mm-hmm. 
or mm-hmm. I, I should, maybe I shouldn't say it that way. What I recognize in all of that is it's how you treat people all along the way. When you do what you say you're going to do, uh, you, don't, you know, don't write checks you can't cash. Don't say right. things you can't, uh, you know, fulfill. And, uh, and people will recognize that integrity and they'll be happy to invest with you. They're happy to, um, you know, uh, go in on a project with you, no matter if it's a $10,000 project or a $100,000 project or a $10 million mm-hmm, project. Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. it all starts with trust and relationship. And the way to gain that is to just do what you say you're going to do and be consistent with that. And that's really key. That's really key in any business, whether it's real estate. It really or is. Or it really is. And it, it, and it, it can't hurt to have come from a construction company uh, background with your family owning, you know, that type of business. Uh, and then your clients seeing your work, uh, just seeing you in action. Uh, you know, you, you're, you're establishing trust based on uh, history and based on action. What more can you yeah. ask for? <laughs> that's right. Watch, watch me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? That that's how you, that's, yeah, that's that how you is, build the I truth. Mean, Watch me. That it really, it really is, especially in uh, today's society. So it's, uh, you know, what a great setup. Tell me this. Um, how is it uh, that these busy professionals that have not seen you in action, uh, who, you know, don't know you, uh, still move forward. Is there any reason why a person would not want to uh, connect with you with investing in these apartment buildings, particularly if they want to have some passive income coming in without having to deal with the tenant's toilet uh, and and everything associated with investing? Landlording. Yeah, they don't even have to find the properties either. I mean, so what is there any reason why a person wouldn't do that if if they are interested in that type of investment? Well, I certainly can't see any reason. If a person is truly interested in passive income, which I think is what all of us, you know, are really truly looking for when we're going to real estate seminars or looking for, um, you know, going to real estate training, listening to podcasts and radio shows like this. Um, you know, we're all looking to create a passive income, which really translates into long-term wealth, right? Wealth is measured mm-hmm. in time, mm-hmm. and riches are measured in dollars in our bank account at one point in time. So uh, wealth is really generated over how long can I go without having to worry about money is how wealth is really measured. So for somebody looking for a truly passive income, apartments are the way to go. Apartments are one of the safest, most secure, stable asset classes uh, across really? the board, I'm not, and I'm not talking about just real estate. I'm talking about uh, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, uh, gold. Uh, over over uh, the history of the United States, apartments have been one of mm-hmm. the most stable, most safe, most secure asset classes. And I'll tell you why. When the market crashes, they're the, they're, people lose their houses and they move into apartment buildings, right? And so they right. apartments right. Are, are the last asset class to have trouble when the market crashes. And then mm-hmm. when the market goes back up, uh, prices go up, values go up, rents go up, and they're the first asset class to rebound out of the downward uh, or recessionary cycle. And so apartments have a very short recession cycle uh, relative to any other asset class, including commercial, which is, is uh, office and industrial, or, or I'm sorry, office is actually one of the most uh, cyclical or affected by the economy. Um, mm-hmm. Housing obviously mm-hmm. has, because uh, people always need housing. Businesses yeah, don't yeah. always need a big office, you know? Right, right. But long story so short, true. somebody looking to grow their nest egg, whether it's an a investment portfolio or a retirement account, um, they can invest in an apartment complex like we're talking about, and they can get uh, p- passive income, tax benefits, and grow their nest egg when they invest in apartments with us. And one of the things that I also want to add to this, it's almost sounds too good to be true, I know, it, but the cash flow from apartments is almost, almost always 100% tax-free. And let me say it again, because I know that sounds uh, like too good to be true, but right. income from the apartments, from that we, the way we do it, the income is almost 100% tax-free. And the reason for that, is when you buy a large apartment building 
and we get a, a nice big mortgage on that property, and we get that from Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, the government allows us to uh, write off the mortgage interest deduction, just like just like the government allows you to do it for your house. You can take the right. interest that you've paid on your mortgage, and you get to write it off your income. Well, we do mm-hmm. the same thing with apartments, and almost always uh, that makes all of your income tax-free. Now, we're talking about giving our investors between 7 or 10% uh, cash on cash return each year. If you invest 100 mm-hmm. grand, you probably make between you know, seven to $10,000 a year in income. And that seven to $10,000 in, in income is not, uh, there's no taxes paid on that because it's, it's offset against the mortgage interest deduction. So uh, what, what that means is, or relative to other types of investments, if you invested in stocks, bonds, or some of those other things, mutual funds perhaps, and you made a 7% or 10% return, the government would take, you know, up to 30% or more of that. Mm-hmm. So we're talking mm-hmm. about a low risk, safe, stable, secure asset class with tax free income at a rate of seven, ten or more percent. I mean it just it just uh, really starts becoming an incredible, incredible investment opportunity. And when I learned all of this, I was blown away. I could not I actually didn't even believe it. I had to double check. That is phenomenal, check, yeah. Yeah. Rub my eyes a little bit and go, Are you kidding me? Why would right. anybody do anything but this? <laughs> so, right, uh, right. Really, we're refocused all of our attention. And, uh, Especially anyways. with you doing all of the work. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but your staff, Absolutely. you're doing, you guys are doing the work. You're rolling up your sleeves and, and finding the investments and, and, and uh, keeping them uh, taken care of, you know, uh, mechanically, physically, uh, the work, and just protecting the investment. So now tell me, how do how would I know that my money is safe? Um, if uh, you said the minimum is fifty thousand, that's that's a a nice little chunk. Uh, how would how mm-hmm. do people know that their their money is actually safe and uh, when they make those types of investments with you? Sure. Well, that's a really good question. Um, so every person who invests uh, is an owner of the company, nice. and just like just like if you bought shares in Microsoft or one of those mm-hmm. other. Uh, large companies that have issued stock, mm-hmm. and so everybody's an owner. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, and what we do is um, one of the things that we do is we go out and create a lot of videos. Every month, I go out to each property and we shoot mm-hmm. video of what's going on, especially on the properties that we're fixing up and selling or, or fixing up and, and renovating. Um, mm-hmm. I go out and do a property walk. I give a tour so everybody can understand and see what's going on at the project, um, mm-hmm. at the property, no matter where you live. You live in New York, you live in Florida, you live in California. Uh, it doesn't matter where, where the investors are because they can see what's going on at the property, just like this, if they were there with me on the tour. Uh, right. Every quarter we give out a financial report, um, shows them exactly what their financial holding is and, and what their return is. We send out those distribution checks every quarter along with that report. And nice. everybody has ownership in the company. So it's uh, kind of like owning, owning stock in a, uh, uh, in a, you know, a, a larger, you know, it's not kind of like you literally own shares in the company that we operate and the company does the work for you where we find the asset, we get the loan, we do the renovations, do the repairs that needs, and we do the re- uh, refinancing, make sure we get good tenants and take care of all the landlording issues that come up. And uh, the investor's job is simply to hopefully check out the cool videos we do and cash the big fat checks that we send out, send out every quarter. Sweet, sweet. Now, I see uh, the more and more I, uh, I, I invest in real estate, I see investors as engineers or, or people who solve problems basically, mm, uh, so in, in real estate, we are problem solvers. And, and what I'm hearing you say is you're solving a problem for the seller who is distressed for whatever mm-hmm. reason. You're solving their problem uh, because you're coming in and you have your group of investors and you come in and, and purchase their property, uh, probably oftentimes with cash. Uh, and then you're solving problems on the other end for your investors who want 7 to 10% of a return on investment uh, but do not have the time or interest 
and doing the work. Mm. Is that is that a, a a good synopsis or anything else to add to that? No, I think that's a, a perfect uh, a perfect synopsis of that. I um, when we are attracting motivated or motivated sellers, we're looking for people who have a loan that's coming due. We look for people that are going through a divorce or maybe there's a lawsuit pending with their business or for mm-hmm. whatever reason, they're needing to sell. Sometimes they uh, have entered into an agreement to purchase another property and they need to sell this one to get the money to buy the, the next one with. And so, um, you know, we find different people in different situations and problem solving right. is so important. Transaction engineering is, is, uh, is a term that... Uh, I think it's kind of fun to throw about, um, you know, how do we figure out how to solve your problems? And as a uh, right. paraphrase, I could say, the more people that you help, you know, the more, the more uh, you're going to get. And uh, you just go out there right. and try to help people solve their real estate problems. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and then on the other side, like you said, um, a lot of people know that they should invest in real estate. They, everybody mm-hmm. knows they should invest in real estate in some way. And, you know, mm-hmm. if you're a top performing uh, real estate broker, top performer, insurance salesperson. If you're a doctor or a lawyer, you're a, a, you know working hard at your job. Maybe you're an engineer designing bridges that this country needs so badly, and, and infrastructure that that we need to put in. And you're you know you're working your butt off. It's not easy for you to then go and learn how to find great apartment deals to invest in, and, or, or maybe it's not maybe not the time or the effort to go out and do the work it takes to manage an asset like this. And so we offer. Uh, those folks uh, a way to get involved, um, to own real estate, to, to get, you know, to uh, actually leverage my expertise, my 20 years of general contracting and real estate investing and, and owning apartment buildings uh, experience, and they can get involved with us and, and invest and make a great return on their money. Uh, we usually, um, our, our apartment investments usually produce 15% or more on an annualized basis. And there's a lot more information on my website, if you don't mind. It's uh, mattskinnerinvestments.com. My okay. name, Matt Skinner. Yeah. Uh, mattskinnerinvestments.com. And there's some videos on there. shows exactly how we do it. There's some property tours, walking through some of the properties that we've purchased. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's kind of like a get-to-know-you kind of a uh, thing. There's a free ebook on there about uh, how real estate is a team sport. And that's something I firmly believe in. You know, we, if you're out there trying to do everything on your own, you're probably doing it wrong. And uh, when we yeah, get together and yeah. we work together as people and as humans and we all have play our different roles, we can accomplish so much more as a team than any one of us so can true. individually. So and so yeah. that's one of my biggest mantras in my office is real estate team sports. There's a little ebook on there about that. Love it for, for, uh, for you guys to have that. And it's at mattskinnerinvestments.com. Check it out. Love to, love to see, uh, uh, over on that website. Oh, that'd be great. And you know what? Uh, you'll have an opportunity to share that again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to a man who is doing over $10 million a year in business as a real estate investor specializing in apartment buildings. Uh, uh, continue listening as we learn more and more from Matt Skinner uh, today on today's show. Matt, tell me about your secret sauce. Uh, you have got to have uh, your own unique uh, approach to doing this business, to go from uh, a 22-year-old uh, owning a construction company to someone who's uh, growing a company up to $10 million a year with over 50 employees. What is your well, secret sauce? Sure. No, I'm happy to uh... – well, it's a secret. I can't tell you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> well, that's, what, that's what Insiders Radio is all about. I know. Out giving away secrets. the inside secrets. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's your secret. <laughs> I, I got to give them all away. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get well, it. Well, <laughs> um, my construction company was doing $10 million a year in, and, uh, in revenue. We'll, we'll buy – um, over $50 million in assets this year. We did over $50 million in assets acquired, uh, not, not transactions. I mean, these, this is what we've purchased and own and operate. So we'll, uh, we're on track to do another $50 million in assets this year. And uh, wow. we'll probably scale that going forward. So we're, uh, we're on, I'm on track 
Uh, I'm looking to have a billion dollar real estate holdings company in the next seven years, and we're right on track to to, uh, to accomplish that. It's exciting, it's fun, and um, and we're we're motivated to make that happen. Uh, not Good just for stuff. the sake of the numbers, but really no. for the sake of when we, when we can give our investors and our clients something so good, we want to give it to more mm-hmm. people, right? When you, when you discover the good mm-hmm. news, you want to share mm-hmm. it. Just like if you went to a great restaurant, you want to tell all your friends about how good the food was and how they should go there <laughs> and have that great experience too. And so that's mm-hmm. what we really are trying to do. But do you want to know about my secret sauce? I'll tell you what ah, yeah, uh, yeah. works share. for me in the apartment business is uh, – so the number one thing is the apartment business is completely driven by job market. And so we look for communities, cities in the country that have not have already grown, but are about to grow. So in 2009, this is secret sauce ingredient. Number one is, All right. is emerging markets, invest in emerging markets. The emerging market mm. uh, uh, a market that's about to grow, right? We often hear that term bandied about when we're talking about foreign markets like China's growing or India's growing, things like that. But I'm talking about cities in the United States that are about to grow. So in 2009, I started doing my research on what market I want to invest in, and I realized Texas is out there, like literally the governor of Texas at the time is on running commercials on TV and radio asking businesses to come there, come to Texas, we'll treat you great, and, uh, and we want you here, and we're going to take good care of you. And so a lot of businesses were moving to Texas for those reasons, and um, Texas had a huge job market boom. In fact, they were the first state to rebound out of the uh, economy that we, we suffered through in 2008 and 2009. And uh, wow. we were very fortunate or very smart. It took my group of investors, from mostly from California at the time, and we went to Texas, and we bought up – so, uh, hundreds of units, uh, apartment units there. And uh, we did really, really well. And then in 2014, I started researching wow. a new market, which is Phoenix, which, by the way, in 2014, I started doing some research there, and Apple was moving to Phoenix, and uh, Intel has built uh, several facilities there, and State Farm moved from Chicago and came out and, and put their uh, headquarters there in Phoenix. And I said, you know, Phoenix is going to be the next emerging market. And so we started buying uh, apartment buildings there and, uh, and, and just watching the job market growth in those markets has just been incredible. Watching more jobs, more business, more workers, people move from other states to come there. They need a place to live, but we just want to give them a great place to live, a great place to experience their life. So that's secret. Uh, secret number one or secret ingredient number one to my secret sauce is invest in emerging markets, because you could basically buy anything, even retail price, and the market's just going up. So you'll make money whether you screw up or not. It's pretty hard to, to screw stuff up if you're in a good marketplace, right? I'm sure there's been yeah. a lot of people who have uh, gotten really lucky, bought in the right place, right time, made a bunch of money in real estate. That's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty common thing to have happen. But when you couple that with the other two secret ingredients, it's, uh, it gets even more powerful. And, and number two is we only buy off-market deals from motivated sellers. And I know we talked a little mm-hmm. bit about that earlier. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On top of being in a marketplace that's going up, I also go and get good deals because the fact of the matter is you make money when you buy, not when you sell. Yeah. You make your money yeah. when you buy. you got to get a good deal to start out with or you're going to have some trouble down the road. And so we target people that have to sell, need to sell, not just want to sell. And then secret ingredient number three is what we call value add. And being a contractor for 20 years and having a construction background to bring in projects on time and on schedule, uh, I love to buy properties that need some work. They need, they need a little turnaround and it'll, you know, uh, pep it up, make it look good. Uh, We change the name of the buildings. We change the color change the management, we make it like a new product, and, um, and we're able to raise the rents quite a bit by, uh, mm, mm. by doing that. Mm. Are there a couple of mis- misconceptions uh, that you routinely come across that people have about this in- incredible service that you're providing uh, through apartment building investing? Mm. Yeah, misconceptions, uh, I guess, well, there's always going to be people that don't understand or, or might be naysayers, if you will, 
Um, a lot of yeah. people think that, um, I would say a lot of people know that the way to wealth, the way to grow wealth or build wealth is to, and, you know, to be invested in, uh, in real estate. I think um, a lot of people don't realize is that um, the way that big deals get done are by doing it as a team. Uh, this can be called syndication. This can be called uh, an equity fund. This can be called, uh, you know, we call it team investing, uh, however you want to put it. But, you know, yeah. Magic Johnson recently, a few years ago, bought the Dodgers, right, for $2 billion, the baseball team, the Dodgers. Magic Johnson didn't write a check for $2 billion. He went out and got a whole bunch of investors together, and they all put a little bit of money in to everybody spreading the risk out, and they went and bought this great asset called the Los Angeles Dodgers. And so, uh, you know, it's important to recognize that this is how anything big gets funded, whether it's a movie, purchasing a baseball team, starting up a company, really true investing in, in anything really gets done as a group. And so, uh, you know, people that are might want to shy away from that or might be concerned about that, I'm just going to do it on my own. It's like, what size baseball team would you be able to buy if you bought it on your own, right? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe a T-ball team or a little league team, right? <laughs> but, but if you group together, we always can do more together as a team. And that's just so true in humanity, so true in business, and, uh, and especially true when it comes to real estate investing. Yeah, that's why crowdfunding is so popular now. Uh, it's, uh, it's really taken off for those reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what motivates you? Uh, before we wrap up, on, on the personal side, what gets you going to want to get up and make these ha things happen? You obviously have to have a lot of energy and a lot of uh, focus and uh, uh you need you need a lot going on. So, uh, what what gets you going? You know, what gets your your blood going when you say, you know what, gosh, I, I'm I, I'm getting ready to get up, do this again uh, today. Uh, I'm pumped. What gets you pumped? <laughs> well, when when uh, when you call me up and say, let's get on the radio show today and let's do this, <laughs> that got me pumped. <laughs> like, yeah, let's do let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's exciting. I'll tell you what, though, I have, I have three little children that are just uh, beautiful and healthy and smart. I feel so blessed to, uh, to be an influence in their life. And, um, and, and, you know, one of the things that I want to set an example for them on is how to have a good hard work ethic. I want to teach uh, them to have in integrity, to do the right thing, even when it's difficult. Yes. And I want yes. to teach them how to, how to lead people. And, and give and to, uh, bring people with you when you're, when you're growing up, when you're going up the mountain, yeah. bring them with you. So those are the yeah. core foundational uh, principles that I want to teach my kids. And I think the best way to teach Beautiful. anybody anything is to do it with, in action. And so that's, that really drives me in a, in a big way. Um, that is wonderful. Well, on that note, I, I'd like to uh, have you, Share with us again how our listening audience can reach out to you, Matt. Matt Skinner, incredible, incredible story. Starting out, again, um, in the trenches, literally digging ditches for a construction company. Now on the real estate uh, network talking about doing over $50 million in business. Uh, this year and, and growing, hopefully, uh, in the future as well. Incredible story. Uh, my hat's off to you, Matt Skinner. How do Thank we Thank you so you? much. Absolutely. Well, if, you're, if you are interested in uh, learning more about investing uh, with us or like how we do it, uh, mattskinnerinvestments.com is the best website to go to. You had mentioned earlier, just briefly, we have a dealmakersociety.com that's the dealmakersociety.com where we mm -hmm. teach uh, people how to do real estate because not everybody's got $50,000, $100,000, $300,000 to invest in a fund like mine. But uh, on the other side of it, what I've done is I've recorded all of my trainings where I've gone and taught my acquisitions team, my A-team is what I call them. They go out 
and they go out and they find, they put together great deals They make offers on properties. They do the marketing. They find great, uh, you know, these motivated sellers that we keep talking about. And so I coach them, I teach them, I train them and uh, I've recorded it all, put it into a digital program. And so uh, mm. now what I have is you can get, you can go learn how to buy, fix, flip and, and operate apartment buildings. And I'll tell you what, one of the motivations for doing that is I love to teach. I just absolutely love it. But I also get a lot of students that come back and bring great deals to me. And we, we partner up. So I'll, I'll bring the money and I'll get the bank financing. They find the deal and uh, they can uh, go out and get started in the same business that I'm in. Because like I said, I want to bring everybody with me where I've learned how to get to. I got a long way up the mountain to go still, I believe. But I, already, but I know that I've made it a little further than some other people. So I want to bring them with me. And so at DealmakerSociety.com, I have those. A uh, real estate educational program teaches how to buy apartments and how to flip apartments if you want to do wholesaling and uh, all that fun stuff too. So those are the two sides of our business. I teach it, but I more importantly, I only teach what I do, and I, and I don't teach okay. theory. I just teach what, what what's worked for me. Right. Wonderful. Well, and all I can say is thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt Skinner, for this peek into your world. Here's wishing you, you continued, so pros- continued prosperity in real estate for sure. And thank you, Prospertor.com. Now you know where and when to go to prosper in real estate. 805 South 1 or text 678 499 I'm your host, Felicia Phillips Curtis, the voice for insider information in this exclusive world of real estate. Until next time, take care. This has been another episode of Real Estate Insiders Radio. To hear all episodes featuring our hand-picked real estate insiders, visit us online at realestateinsidersradio.com. 